Hello everyone, my name is Crystal Ruiz and I work here at the Crocker Art Museum and I'm also the student and community exhibition coordinator here at the museum. And we're actually in the space right now, so I kind of want to show you kind of what it looks like when there's no one here. It's pretty quiet and it kind of echoes a little when you're in here, but it's a perfect space to just come and really look at the artwork that's in here. So right now we have currently the Youth Art Month exhibition up. And we have a couple of different grade levels in here as well. So I'm gonna show you a couple of them here. For example, right here, we have Van Gogh flowers, and it's an oil pastel crayon and watercolor artwork. And this is actually made by a first grader named Nash Cartwright. And this was made in 2019. So let me emphasize, he's a first grader making art like this. And the cool thing about his work is he just started using basic crayons and then moved into some oil pastels and finished with some watercolors and all because he kept practicing at home and at school. And he slowly started getting into Van Gogh's flowers, really inspired by this artist. Now we have a ninth grader over here from McClatchy High School. So Holden Fong is uh, creating a more of a sculpture. So here we have Fluttering Thoughts, that's the name of the artwork. And as you can see, this artist is using wire, paper, as well as a little bit of paint to add some detail in here. So, for the student community exhibitions, what you do is you kind of just start making art, especially right now when you're at home. You can pick up a pencil, pick up some crayons. If you have watercolors, add in some of those mediums to your artwork and just practice. The more you practice, the better you'll get at it. And maybe one day your artwork can be exhibited here at the Crocker Art Museum in our educational center. And it keeps going. We go all the way around into this space as you can see many more artworks. We have some third grade art, some more 12th grade. We have some drawings as well. It's very fascinating, so much detail. Even when you zoom in closer, you might notice even smaller things in these artworks, especially these drawings here. You can see our artists very dedicated to getting every detail they can into their work. And then on this side, it's more of like mixed media artwork, some photography, but we really love to capture maybe the themes the students are focusing on in their school, like self-portraits or more of abstract art, right? So just being able to explore with color and a variety of materials, you could start very simple and then move on to a different medium each year, right? Maybe get into some more sculptural stuff. Maybe one day you'll get into clay and decide to make some of these interesting artworks we see right now. From some of our high schoolers, 10th grade, 11th, all the way to 12th grade, here are some ceramic artworks we're looking at right now. And just notice all the different colors and details added to these works of art. So it's really beautiful work that we're looking at, very inspiring. And to think that this is all made by really young folks. Now here at the museum, we work with a very great team of volunteers who come in during our install days. And we just work at it for a good three days to make sure this is prepped and finished. We put the labels on and you get to experience the whole thing from submitting the work, even making it, right? Doing some touch-ups before you frame it and bring it here to the museum. And then we kind of help you, guide you, and show you maybe this is the best way to kind of write your statements, talk about the artwork, even to the title of the work for this specific maybe painting or sculpture. And I hope to see some of you talented artists come visit our museum and be showcased here. So thank you so much on behalf of the Crocker Art Museum. Stay safe and I hope to see you soon.